Welcome to Paint Along at the Plainfield Guilford Township Public Library. Today we're doing a winter landscape and I hope you'll join us. So to begin, if you've not painted with us before, you'll want to access our materials list that you'll find in one of our YouTube selections. So first find the materials list and that will tell you what you need to do, what you'll need to have to paint along with us. Um, so let's get started. First of all, um, I'm going to have, I have a photograph that I took here in Plainfield. Actually, this little location is an area behind uh, the Dairy Queen here in Plainfield. Um, and I really, really liked how these trails in the snow lead your eye back into the painting. However, the whole area was rather dark. And when, of course, when I took the photo, this part that I really, that was light dappled really did not show up. So, um, I'm going to show you, first of all, you can actually take a photo like this and do a little tweaking. Um, you can see I added a little bit of warmth with a filter, and you can see that some of this area now, it, I'm able to see it just a little bit better. But quite honestly, I still wasn't crazy about it. it I mean, it's a nice composition. It takes my eye back here, but there was nothing really interesting. The part that I love the best was, is this little spot right here where the light is dappled and then you'll see shadows here that in blues and grays. Um, and you couldn't really, this composition just doesn't really do it justice. So I did a little cropping and what I came up with was a selection, as you can see where we narrowed it and made a long, long horizontal line. So that's what we're gonna work on today by cropping. This actually will bring our focus into this beautiful area among the trees and your, it almost leads your eye back in a circular motion. And so that's what we're gonna focus on today. If you'd like to take a shot of this, this photo, you may use it for painting and you can take a screenshot now. All right, let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is just sketch in the main shapes. And to do that, um, I put, normally I use yellow, red, and blue as my primary colors. Um, today, I added black to that because I want to do a lot of grays. I want to mix up a batch of gray. And then, of course, I'm going to actually add other colors to it to make it more interesting. But I really do want to mix up a bit of gray paint. And of course, to get gray, I'm going to add black and white. Just a nice mid-tone gray. All right. And I'm just going to sketch the shapes on my canvas. So as you can see, the horizon line is actually back here. That takes up about a third. I'm just gonna kind of sketch that in. A quick horizon, which is this line right here. Then I come down a little bit, and I would say that is going to be about another, maybe third. Let's say that's actually more than half. So we're going to do about half and come down here. So I have this line here where the trees are located. And then I'm coming down a little bit and I'm going to sketch in this clump, this mass in this area. I'm going to quickly put in some verticals of these trees. So you can see here. I'm putting in areas that are dark. Working back into these, these trees as well, I want to put some verticals in. When you're doing trees like this as a vertical statement, you want to make sure that you're not arranging them in a row. Like um, you want to make sure that there are some variations in not only the base so that they, your eye moves up and down on that, but you want to also have variations in where the trees actually stand. 
you don't want them to be evenly spaced all the way across like like toothpicks or something we want them to have some variation And back here we have a few more verticals that are a little less noticeable. All right, so this is basically the shapes. I've got some really dark darks here. And of course my trees are very dark. Okay. I'm gonna scrub in the areas that are dark with that dark value. For balance, I'm bringing some darkness over here into this corner. Just some grasses. We're ready to start putting color on our painting. As I'm getting ready to start with blocking in color, I noticed that I didn't really mention much about how I have this canvas toned. And what I've done is I've mixed, to get this color of this, this really beautiful beige, um, I wanted some warmth with all of the cool and the dark and the grays that we had. So I, I mixed yellow and orange or red to get orange you can see on my color wheel yellow and red will get orange and then after i had orange i mixed blue with that and that gave us a, a form of, of brown so after i got some of that then i added white to it okay so that will give us a really nice warm undertone on our painting let's get started blocking in the color now I can tell you that this painting is going to have a lot of grays and blues and beiges. It's going to be very neutral in tone, which is kind of what I want. I really liked this. I like this atmosphere of this painting. And quite honestly, even in the winter, it's okay to embrace the grays. Grays and neutrals can be actually very beautiful. So we're going to, um, we're going to focus very much on grays and blues and neutral tones. Here we go. Now you can see the background is very brown and very dark. Um, I may just liven that up with some more with some grays, but I do need to mix some brown. So to get brown, as I said before, I'm going to take some red and yellow. We're mixing those to get orange. And then blue, we're gonna add just a touch of blue to that. So we're getting something like a brown. The more yellow I have, if I add to blue, it's gonna be more greenish. And if I wanted it to go more, uh, a more warm tone, I would add more of this red. But this is not bad where I have it now. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of white over on this side. So you can see, mixing some of that white. Now I've got some really beautiful golden brown tones. I'm gonna to take some of that black that I have here and mix with some of the brown so that I get some grays. And I'm gonna add just a touch of blue to that taking it kind of in the direction of, a, of a, an evergreen even. Nothing that. All right, this is in the direction of a green, all right? But I like it. So here in our deepest, darkest areas, I'm gonna to tone some of that in. In fact, you know, I think I wanna go a little bit more in the direction of a gray. There we are, that's better. 
I like this gray tone. And I'm just brushing that in. You can see that there is a really dark, a really dark part here in the corner. You can see right in here, kind of that shape. I think I need a larger, larger brush. Since I'm just blocking in color, I'm going to use a larger brush to get this done. So we can work just a little bit quicker. All right, let's do that now. There we go. That's better. So I've got some more of that all around. And then right back in here. We're looking for just some interesting shapes in our background, some interesting darker tones. Here. Very good. I'm going to also bring some of that darker tone down here into our foreground a little bit. Bringing that in. All right. Now in the background, we've got more of that brown, as you can see. Still very warm. Again, keeping it very neutral. I'm adding some gray to it. There we are. Now let's just kind of work some of that in. It's really going in the direction of green on my board, and I really don't want that. So I've added a little white, a little bit of black, taking it in the direction of more of a gray. Let's try that. Yeah, that's more what I have in mind. It almost looks sage-like here. add a little bit of red to it because quite honestly it's a little too green so that that red is going to cancel out the green and take it more in the direction of a brown warm it up I think that's what I want something a little more like that yeah again just blocking in color right now I see some areas that are really light right here where our focal point is it's going to draw our eye around the corner so I'm going to take a little more of that white and just a hit of that yellow just to warm it up it's a little more golden in this spot so again just kind of warming that space up a little bit just because it's going to draw your eye a little by doing that okay and now back in here doing the same I have a couple of areas here where I want that just a little lighter. Okay. All right. So now, let's go. Let, I'm going to start to block in the snow, um, and I also want to really focus on these uh, gray, bluish um, shadows that I see in the foreground. So to get that, mixing some gray, gonna pull some white over into that as well as some blue. See, I think it needs a little more blue. That's a little more lighter. Okay, so let's start to work some of that blue into the foreground where I see it. You can see all the blue right in here, right here in the foreground. We can always come back later and add more white. But right now we're just blocking in color. because I can come back later with a warm white wherever I want that light to be hitting. But right now I'm just kind of blocking in some of these tones, these shadow tones. You 
can tell you right now. Using again some of that dark brown that I had here because this really doesn't look like these shapes. So I'm going to come back in and work in these shapes again. Let's come back in. So I had some really darks here, some here. That really looks very green. So what that tells me, if I see a lot of green, that means I have a lot of blue and yellow in it. So I'm going to add red to take it more in the direction of a brown. Might even go a little bit more in the direction of a purple. I think it might actually work that cool tone. There we are, that's more of what I want. back in again and put those tree trunks back in because I'm losing them a little bit. They were very dark, as you can see. So I'm mixing even kind of a purple. And they are so dark because they're backlit. The light is behind them, and so that's why you're going to be seeing that they're going to look very, very dark to us here. It's a little different than I, the way I normally paint, but sometimes different is good. Going back in and just adding some of that dark warm tone that I just had. Add a little bit right in here. A little bit here in this corner. All right. So I think we've got pretty much got our, our shapes blocked in. And now in just a moment, we're gonna start to work on details. All right, so now we're ready to start on some of the details of the painting. So when I get into this portion of it, I'm going to choose a smaller brush because I'm working in smaller strokes um, just to focus, focus my light, my attention. Um, so to cover, cover paint and cover canvas quickly, I'm using a very wide, um, you can see it has a straight edge for the most part. Works really well for covering my canvas really quickly. And now, going to be using this little, you can see, square topped little bright, I think, maybe. Might be too long for a bright, but anyway, this is what I'm using. Little short bristles. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start going to the background, and I want to start to work on getting that light, that snow back in the background. So, to do the snow, I've got some of this blue-gray mixed up already, and I'm going to keep a little bit of that but I want to add a tiniest bit of red and then a tiny bit of yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna add that to a batch of white. I don't want it to be specifically white. I really do kind of want a little bit of a, I want it to be a little toned down. There it is, that's a warm gray right there. Let's see how that looks on the canvas. If it's too bright, we can always tone it down. So let's take a look. So our horizon line is right about in here. I think that's gonna be just about right. I can always go in later and add, add more, make it a little bit brighter if that's what I choose to do. And then I'll pull a little bit up here. I'm gonna pull more of that same and just kind of bring it into the foreground a bit. Now one of the things I'm really noticing is you can see the lines of these white areas where the light is hitting the snow. This is an interesting one here because you can tell because of that curve that is in that, in that shape, it looks as if the snow has got a bank on it. So I don't want to lose that. I really, I really like the look of that. So I'm going to pull a little more blue into it. As you can see, these shadows are not as brightly lit as that. 
pulling a little blue into it here. Let's take a look at that. All right, so let's start to work some of those shadows in. There are several of them up here where the light is hitting. There he is, here. We'll come back to this shape in just a minute, but right now I'm just gonna pull that. Just a moment. I have to tighten up that that easel. All right. So right here. Interesting. Some snow patterns that we have here going. More really interesting areas that are a little bit lighter right in, in here. And then we have some spots back in here. This actually should be have a little bit more, a little more dark, but it's actually all right. I don't think that we're going to worry about that as much today. So the part that I really loved about this painting was all of this negative space. So you can see that there are some really wonderful areas where we have like tree limbs and the negative space that's between the tree limbs. It's really what drew me to this. So I'm gonna work on getting some of that in there. Um, to do tree limbs, I'm gonna want to do have a liner brush, something that looks like this. You can use a smaller one as well, but as you can see, liner brush. All right, so here we go. I'm going to be mixing up just a black or, or a really deep purple. And to do that, pulling in some of that blue, some of my red to make purple. As you can see, red, red and blue, red and blue, you're gonna get purple. So let's do that. And I'm gonna pull just a little of that black in there just to Give me the, the tone that I'm looking for. All right, the thing about using a liner brush, you want this to be very, very liquid. I want it to be just really just slide right off of the brush. All right, so I'm just gonna basically kind of make it up as I go. I'm seeing some, like some really interesting. Doesn't have to be precise, but these are just some interesting grasses and tree limbs. Got some more of that going down in this area. Some going back here in the background as well. But I especially enjoyed this part right here. Okay. Again, just gonna, you can see there are some here. Some, some trees and limbs. All right, that's, well, that's kind of the look I'm going for. But now I'm gonna take just a regular brush and I kind of wanna soften it a little bit. So I'm just going to take a brush and a dry brush, just kind of run over that a little bit just to soften and let it blend in a little bit. 
so it's not too harsh. There we go. Now we're going to go back and do my favorite part. So with this really beautiful little detail brush, I'm going to go in here and do and just paint the negative space that I see. So the black background color is this snow, this blue snow that I had. Just going to refresh on that a little bit. Little grays. So I'm just going to go in right in here and just kind of paint some negative space. It's a little little bright, but. see I just love the look of that negative space here okay now I'm going to go in with a little bit lighter snow I'm going to warm it up a little with some of that beige that I had Let's go in over here now and let's really kind of heighten and lighten it up a little bit. You can see where the sun is hitting that. Because we set those other tones underneath that, you can see when we get this area that is really bright and warm and light, the color just really pops. Bring some of that back here into the background. There's just some sunlight hitting back here. And then here. I think this needs to be maybe just a little brighter. bit right here in between these trees just a little bit back in here also want to brighten up some of this area so I'm mixing a little of that white in there and now actually I need a little more so let's just brighten this up here just as if the sun is hitting it back there just in that one couple of little spots here a couple of other areas bright beige, some of these grasses here. I'm going to bring some of those grasses into the foreground here. A few of them here and there. Okay, I think that's pretty close to what I want to do with this painting today. May come back a little bit later and bring some cooler whites into that. I think that maybe, maybe we want just a little more blue, a little more. No, it needs to be more blue. I really do, I think, want to have some hits of blue in here. Again, there we are, maybe something like that. Well, 
you get the idea. If there's anything you don't like, of course, you can just kind of go back over it. If that's a little too much, oh, that's not what I wanted. Just gonna tone it down. Tone it down with some of that brown that I had a little while ago. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Little bits of blue, I think, but I don't think we wanna go too crazy with it. Again, I wanted to stay with the neutrals, so I don't wanna lose don't want to lose those neutrals that I had. Here we go, I'm just gonna go one, a little bit more on this snow. You can see some snow down in here. Again, if you, there are areas that just need to be brightened up a little bit, you can always go back in and do it. All right. I think that's it for today. Thanks for painting with us. Hope you can come again sometime. Paint along. <laughs>